Um, so when you guys are looking at this, again, the main important thing that we need to do is we need to make sure we set this up properly. So I have x minus 5 divides into x cubed minus 8x squared plus 17x minus 10. Does everybody follow me with that? OK? All right. Now, again, we just go through this systematically. OK? We choose our first term, x. x divides into x cubed how many times? x squared. The reason why is, again, guys, you can think of it this way. x cubed divided by x. How many times does x divide into x cubed? What do we do with the powers? We subtract them. So that's x to the 3 minus 1, which is x squared. Now you take x squared. See, Justin, here's the problem, though. See, I'm going over this, and you're not paying full attention with it. This is what you need to be focused on. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 5, you've got to make sure you multiply by both of them, is a negative 5x squared. Now we subtract the rows. Wait, when did you just multiply to get negative 5? Once you get x squared, you multiply x squared times x and x squared times negative 5. You have to multiply this times both terms. OK? okay. Zach? Probably not what you need to be doing right now. Now we subtract vertically. x cubed minus x cubed is 0x cubed, which is just 0, which I'm not going to write in there. Negative 8x squared minus a negative. Remember, when you minus a negative, that's going to turn to a positive. So therefore, I have equals negative 3x squared. OK? Now we do the next, now we do it again. x divides into negative 3x squared, negative 3x times. Okay? Now negative 3x times x is going to give you a negative 3x squared, and negative 3x times negative 5 is going to give you a positive 15x. So we know we can subtract these two, but what am I going to subtract 15x from? Well, I go back to my problem, and I bring down the 17x, the positive 17x. Okay. Now again, I subtract my rows. So negative 3x squared minus a negative x squared goes to 0x squared, or just 0. 17x minus 15x goes to? 2x. Okay. Now, x divides into 2x how many times? <coughs> 2. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Now we bring down the last one, the last negative 10. And again, we subtract our rows. 2x minus 2x is 0x. Negative 10 minus a negative 10, again, is 0. So therefore, we don't have a remainder. Now, the main important thing, though, that I want you guys to understand is you guys agree with me that this times this gives you that, right? Right? Now, here's what's going to be.